Hello, this is God of Seven, and today we're going to replace music for Super Mario 64 DS. Now, first thing you're going to need is the MIDI file of the song you want to get into the game. Now, try to avoid Nintendo Sheet Music. By that, I mean like ninsheetmusic.org or whatever. And why I say that is because they usually only have two tracks, which is meant for piano, and we're actually adding a song here, and that's not ideal. We want, like, a song with, like, around eight tracks, maybe a bit more. If it has less, we can just add empty ones, but... You're also going to need the ROM you're going to replace for, and you're also going to need my toolpack.zip, which I'll probably send a link to the description about this thread and the direct download link. Or just the link to my drive, which is right here. So obviously you just click that and download it. Or just click the direct link in the description. Just extract my tool pack. Although I will call it my tool kit. So in my tool kit, I have a number of tools here, as you notice. Now the first thing you're going to want to use is VGM Trans. Just open it. And you're going to want to open uh well let me navigate to um tutorial. And you're gonna to want to navigate to your ROM file here. And what we're going to do here is find the find the music file we want to replace. I want to replace the music for the snow level. And here's the thing. You want to find a music sequence you can replace that has the instruments that go good with the sound file you're using. And why that's... Im and even if the level doesn't, you can change the level settings in the editor to use a different sound file. <laughs> I want to use this file. So you want to click save as MIDI in DLS. And now let me just go to my place in tutorial. Let me make a new folder. I'll call it snow2. And I'll hit OK. And then you can just X out VGM trans. And then over here, I have two files an MIDI file, or MID, and a DLS. Now, for this next part, you're going to want Anvil Studio, I mean, <laughs> FL Studio. So you can either install that or use Anvil Studio. Anvil Studio is pretty straightforward, so just kind of go through the steps, but dumb down for. Anvil Studio. Now, why I want to use FL Studio is because um, you get a live preview on what it's going to sound like. So, what we're going to want open here is this MIDI you just exported. Just hit accept. And you'll see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This thing has 7 channels. And you need to make sure that keep track of that number because that's the maximum number of channels you're going to want. You're going to want to have the same number of channels as you do in the original song. Like some have seven, some have eight, and and obviously if you play it's going to sound weird. So just get these things all out of the way. Get rid of the channel rack real quick. You're going to want to find Fruity LSD. No, it's not a drug. It's going to help you. See this DLS file? Just double click that and it'll load the instruments. And now when we play the song, sounds pretty normal. Okay. Now I'm going to want open another FL Studio
And now I'm going to open up this MIDI. That's how it sounds like for now, but I'm going to need to make it sound, use the instruments as this. So how I'm going to do that is, first of all, I'm going to to um, import the, use the fruity LSD. Sorry, had a little brain freeze there, whatever. Now load the DLS, and you'll notice that nothing's going to play, or almost nothing. Maybe something will play, but most likely you won't hear anything. Now this is pretty normal. Make sure the channels go in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. So they all have their own channels, and they should already be set to port zero by default, which is what you want them at for now. And now it's time to edit the instruments like if you notice I can change this to anything like say I want to be pet the moment I hit play it's going to go back to whatever it was before now to change that you want to go to tar it you want to hit the piano roll C target control and let's start out with the page of controllers and make sure it's at the beginning of the song and just delete that Let's go do this for all of them. Is there any more in there? No, there is not. Sometimes you might need to go to the side if there might be more. If you did it correctly, you should have no more of those controller things. You can just X out the piano roll editor now. And now let's look at the first instrument here. It's slap bass one. So let's say I put that to slap bass one. Let's solo this for now. Oh, I hit synth bass, not slap bass one. Basically, you need to figure out what instruments you're going to use for what here. And that's also slap bass one, and so I'll probably have this be slap bass one as well. Okay, 
now let's see what this is this is the xylophone and let me just solo it to see how it sounds Now we may have some problems with this MID here, judging that it has a um, limited amount of instruments and all. Let's see if this sounds good. doesn't really sound good so let's see if there's any other instruments there's the steel acoustic guitar and let's see how that will sound Maybe we can have this as the acoustic guitar steel, and then have this as the slap bass one. And yeah, basically this is what you're going to want to do in order to figure out the instruments. And you can only have, and the instruments have to match, meaning if there's only two slap basses, you have to keep only two slap basses. How do I, I guess I can only stop it. Uh, you'd think you'd be able to pause, but no.